All right, and we are back here now. It is August 26th. It's the afternoon tropical update. We're going to start over here in the Gulf. I moved the area a bit south and west. Uh, odds are relatively the same from yesterday area we're watching in the next five to seven days. You head over here off the coast of Africa. Lots of model support for this one. We're looking at 30 to 50 percent uh, that we have something interesting there. We'll go up real quick to Tropical Depression 6. That's the invest we've been watching all the way since the Bahamas. Um, tropical Depression 6, expect to be Tropical Depression due to shear, uh, but it will become a tropical storm eventually as it heads up towards New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, but it should become a uh, post-tropical cyclone by the time it reaches the Nova Scotia area. Still tropical storm forest winds expected with that, though. Speaking of tropical storm forest winds, uh, our dear friend Dorian now has 50, or 50, not 60 mile per hour winds with it and tropical storm warning in effect for many areas. We do have a hurricane watch in effect for St. Lucia as well. Tropical storm watch now for Dominica. Uh, and Martinique has been upgraded from a watch to a warning. We do also have a watch here for the Caribbean, Netherlands, Saba, and Stanislaus. Really not anything expected there, major expected there, rather. I, I'm not sure why they issued a watch, but they did. Uh, regardless, it does look like somewhere in this area, uh, Dorian will become a Category 1 hurricane, and it will remain that way as it heads up towards Puerto Rico, which now has a tropical storm watch as well. It's going to hit somewhere between this gap. It could make landfall in Puerto Rico. It could make landfall in the Dominican Republic. It could shoot the gap. If it shoots the gap, which it might, or has minimal land interaction, it will remain a Category 1 hurricane, which is what I am currently expecting. Of course, that's subject to great error. Uh, the intensity, that is. The forecast track, though, regardless, remains the same regardless of intensity as it heads up through the Turks and Caicos, Bahamas. And then... As we hit day five, we are in the northern Bahamas heading towards Florida. So stay tuned for more information as the United States mainland could also be affected as well as Puerto Rico.